Good morning and welcome to another WBC Kids Service Online. We are very excited to be with you once again this week. We have got um, a parable this week about the unforgiving servant. So we are going to um, have a story and a little bit of a talk around that. But first of all, we're just going to pray and then we're going to listen to a song, which is Tell the World by Hillsong Kids. So let's pray. So we're going to go one, two, three, four, we cross our arms, five, we bow our heads and close our eyes and we say, Dear Jesus, Please just be with us as we learn about the unforgiving servant this week, Lord. Help us to be forgiving as you have forgiven us. Thank you. Amen. Amen. Let's go along to our song. absolutely love that song and I just pray that you have really enjoyed it too. We have taken that song all over the country and shared it with so many children and I just think it's really important to share that we should go and tell the world that Jesus lives. So yeah, incredible. Oh, sorry, two seconds. Hi, Hi Kaylee. Um, oh, uh, oh, uh, uh, are you filming? Yeah, a bit busy. Not oh, ideal. Oh, I'm sorry, Kaylee. Sorry, boys and girls. Sorry, sorry. I've had a bit of an accident. Um, I may have broken something. I may need to fix it quite quickly or I may get caught and they will tell me off. Um, I was wondering, have you by any chance got any gaffer tape I can borrow, please? I'm really sorry about this. Give me just two seconds while I grab the gaffer tape. Sorry boys and girls, don't want to be in trouble. Got to try and fix it. Yeah. Okay, um, hopefully you fix whatever you broke. Good luck with that. Oh. Sorry, Kelly. That's lovely. I'm the boy boy's girls. Boy boy's girls. Bye. Okay, 
little bit odd. Never mind, we'll move on from that quite quickly. So yeah, we love that song. Next, we are gonna go over to Saddleback Kids and they are gonna give us, um, share with us a cartoon of the parable that we are doing. So yeah, we're gonna go, sorry, two seconds. Um, you I, said I, you weren't gonna disturb us this week. This is my week, you weren't even gonna be here. What do you need? Oh, I'm I've, so I've, sorry. I've, I've, I have quite important meetings, you know, I'm quite an important person, you know. I was wondering, um, how have you got an iPad I can borrow, please? I may have lost my iPad never lost one before. It's the first time I've lost my iPad. Can I borrow your iPad, please? I'm really sorry. Just give me two seconds. I'll just grab an iPad. Sorry, boys and girls. She's good, isn't she? Talk to everything she knows. Oh, hello. One iPad. One iPad. Thank you very much. Appreciate that. Thank you very much. Thank you. Bye, boys and girls. Bye. I am so sorry. People are just coming in and out like we're not doing this right now, guys. I'm so sorry. So, yeah, we're going to go over to Saddleback Kids. We're going to watch the cartoon teaching us about the parable of the unforgiving servant. See you afterwards. Stories of the Bible. The parable of the unforgiving servant. This is Jesus. hey -o. Who is the son of God and the savior of the world. While Jesus was on earth, he taught everyone about God's love and healed people from their sickness. He did many miracles like walking on water. Oh, hey guys. And even raised people from the dead. Uh, Wahoo! One day, Jesus was talking with his disciples and teaching them when Peter asked, Um, Gira? How often should I forgive someone who sins against me? Seven times? Jesus said, no, not seven times, but 70 times seven. Then Jesus told a parable. He said, the kingdom of heaven can be compared to a king who decided to get his money back that he had let his servants borrow. While the king was doing this, one of the servants who owed him a million dollars was brought in. One million dollars, please. The servant couldn't pay, so the king ordered that he be sold along with his family and everything he owned, to pay the debt. Wait, please! But the servant begged the king, please be patient with me and I will pay it all. Then his king was filled with pity for him and he let him go and forgave his debt. But when the man left the king, he went to a fellow servant who owed him a few thousand dollars. Uh, hi? Come here, Will. He grabbed him and demanded that he pay him back immediately. Oh, wait, please. His fellow servant begged for a little more time. He said, be patient with me and I will pay it. No. But the servant wouldn't wait. He had the man arrested and put in prison until the debt could be paid in full. When some of the other servants saw this, they were very upset. They went to the king and told him everything that had happened. Then the king called in the man he had forgiven and said, You evil servant, I forgave you that tremendous debt because you pleaded with me. Shouldn't you have mercy on your fellow servant just as I had mercy on you? Then the angry king sent the man to prison to be punished until he had paid all that he owed. Jesus then said, that's what my heavenly Father will do to you if you refuse to forgive your brothers and sisters from your heart. Oh, what an amazing cartoon. Thank you so much to Saddleback Kids. We pretty much owe our lives to you guys. So yeah, that pretty much sums up our week this week. Just thinking though, I wonder how long it's going to be till I get my iPad and my gaffer tape back. Guys, it's been two weeks since Chris and little Chris borrowed my things and now I'm starting to wonder when am I ever going to get them back. So I'm going to maybe call them and see if they've got my stuff. So let's shout, little Chris, little Chris, little Chris, little Chris. Oh, little Chris. Hi. Oh, how, how are you doing? Are you okay? Wait, sorry, oh, let, me, let me take that. Okay. Oh, thank you very much. Oh, I tell you what, that took me hours to carry that in my mouth, carrying it back to you, because I wanted to say thank you, um, but um, it's not gaffer tape now. Um, 
I had to use a bit more than I thought. Um, I broke the thing a lot worse than I thought and I used the whole roll. Um, but I brought you some of this. Is that okay? It's, it's not the same, it's quite a bit cheaper, but... I mean, it's not the same thing and I've also waited two weeks to get this back, but it's okay, I suppose. Hi, Harry. Yeah, you should leave. I don't want to see you anymore. Oh, okay. bye boys and girls. Bye, Kaylee. Bye. <laughs> Okay, well that's a little bit frustrating, but never mind. Maybe um, maybe Chris is gonna bring my iPad back and that will be, make me a little bit happier. I've been missing my iPad. I love to watch TV before I go to sleep. So let's shout Chris. Chris! Chris oh, <laughs> Chris! Hi! Hi! Oh, you have my iPad? I've been waiting two weeks for this boys and girls. I'm so glad you have my iPad. Can I have your back? So there was a bit of a problem. Um, I have your iPad. Excellent. Can I can I have it? No. It's got no screen. It broke. Excuse it was me. it wasn't my fault. Um, little Chris was involved. No, never mind. So that's what you wanted the gaffer tape for. Maybe. But we've we've kind of fixed it. Here you go. I'm not even gonna look at it. Right, boys and girls, we're gonna have to go to a song. I'm so angry right now. We're going to a song, guys. Boys and girls, I've realised that I was pretty angry before we listened to that song and actually thinking about it, listening to that song in the cartoon that we watched earlier, I think there was a huge message from that and I guess they used all my gaffer tape and my iPad was broken, both very different things, one quite small, I can forgive the tape, one a little bit harder to forgive, the iPad screen, absolutely devastating, but the 
the thing, the message was, you know, people have forgiven me in the past. I've owed people money. I've broke people's things and they've forgiven me. So as the parable taught us, I should really forgive Chris. So Chris, if you're watching this now, I am really sorry. Little Chris, I'm really sorry. I do forgive you guys. And yeah, I'm sorry for getting really angry. So guys, yeah, I think we just need to remember Jesus has forgiven us and we are really, really thankful that Jesus forgives us. And so in the same way, if anyone upsets us, if anyone is sorry for anything that they've done, we need to just be able to forgive them. So yeah, that's really important, guys. And just as we wrap up, we're just going to pray that we'll remember that message that we've learned this week. So we're just going to pray. We're going to go one, two, three, four, we cross our arms and five, we close our eyes and bow our heads. And we just say, Jesus, Thank you that you have forgiven us, that no matter what we do wrong, Lord, that you will always forgive us. And we're just really grateful that, that you will always love us and nothing that we can do will change the amount that you love us, Lord, that you can't love us any more or any less, but that you give us that perfect love, Lord. And we just thank you that you forgive us no matter what. And we just pray that you will be with us as we have to forgive those who do things that maybe upset us. And we just thank you that you've taught us this lesson, Lord, and that we've had fun this week together. Amen. Amen. Don't forget, guys, that there's our download pack in the comments below. So click on the link, do the activities. We would love to see some of the things that you guys are doing. So maybe ask your parents, put some of the stuff on Facebook. We would absolutely love to see the stuff that you are doing. We are so grateful that you've joined us this week and we pray that you have an awesome week and we will see you next week. Bye, guys.